Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. Hey, and I'm Kevin. And we are back with campaign number two. Exciting So time. exciting, so, so exciting. exciting. <laughs> so thanks to everybody for their feedback on the first campaign. We're glad you, glad you guys really liked it. Um, so we went ahead, we took a look at the Chaos Campaign Supplement, recently released by Catalyst. Uh, we made some changes to it, obviously, it's what we do. Um, I, I do believe, though, in our defense, it does say in the Chaos Campaign rules to make it your own. So Yeah. We it, made it our own. It was chaotic. It, so it we put some order to it. Yeah, we did. Um, we actually grafted in all of our missions. Um, we, we took a lot out of it, so we try to keep it as close to raw as possible. Um, and uh, we're going to be releasing that shortly in PDF form um, so that you guys can check it out and, of course, use it uh, as you so deem fit in your Battletech games. But... Tonight. Right. So that, right, yeah. that's, that's going to be the basis of our new campaign here. Right. So very exciting. Uh, new structure to it. We have some new features, some new graphics to release. So I hope you guys enjoy our new content. <sighs> new, it should be really exciting. Graphics. Yeah. But let's, let's focus on the here and now. Tonight. So uh, what do we have? We have, a, we have a brand new army on the channel. Um, freshly painted up, 7th Donegal Guard mm. of the Lyran Commonwealth. Um, very excited to field these guys. Been working on them for the last few weeks, but they're ready to go. Um, and Kevin, you will be facing off against the Akai Oni. That's Red Devil in Japanese language speak. <laughs> Draconis <laughs> Combine. Man, dude, they are they are the a, they are a gang <laughs> of yakuza refitted, <laughs> just heretical, crazy gangers. I love it. But desperate times call for desperate measures. It's true. So it's true. the DC definitely they. Yeah. Definitely. I like to, I like to think that this was the right move for them. All so right. backdrop, right? What do we got? So our campaign we're going to be taking place here in the midst of the War of Thirty Thirty Nine. Very cool. Right. Great time. So yeah, Lyrans, right? They yep. they had their Operation Stormhammer. Stormhammer, right? Right. So we, you, we roughed you guys up pretty good. Yeah. So there was a there was a th wave one thrust into DC territory. Thrust into DC territory. <laughs> Ooh, I, <feel> the, <laughs> I sort of felt that one. Uh, you caught us off guard, <laughs> and, you, and you, you pretty much took a lot of planets uh, right. pretty quickly. Uh, but and while you're preparing for wave two, that's sort of the here and now that this is going to take place. Uh, my regiment, and in addition to others, participated in a counter strike. To take back some some territory and disrupt yeah. plans for the second stage of the assault. Yeah. So we're going to see how that pans out. You know, um, it's going to take place on a little known planet called Kuzu. That's in the midst of all this. Okay. Um, I don't really see a lot about it in the history books, but we're gonna we're gonna share that history with you. History is happening tonight. What folks. happened? You are uh, witnessing BattleTech history. So you will you will get that opportunity to see how this pans <laughs> out. Um, Right. So you're going to be the attacker this time. Yes, um, counterattacking right. technically, but yeah, I'll be I'll be on the offensive through this campaign. So as you see the campaign rules, right. um, there's sort of a general campaign-wide offensive force versus the defensive right. or fight off force, right? Yeah, yeah. And in the campaign they call that like they have the tracks, right? The various mission tracks. And we follow the exact same structure. Right. Um, but what we've done is we've taken our missions and we've kind of uh, given the attacker, or the, the force that the victor from the prior track, the option of choosing from a variety right. of missions, right? So And attacker privileges, technically per the mission rules, but right. overall, thematically, I will be the attacker yeah. in general. Yeah, I like it. So, um, mission tonight, seize ground. Correct. Oh, this yeah, is a good so one. Drop ship coming in hot. Yep. Draconis Combine. Under the Catching cover of a guard. blizzard, right? Yes, yes. Severe blizzard, you land. And, and right uh, so like we're it. we're desperately both trying to seize this high ground that exists between our landing zone yeah. and your base of operations that yeah. have you just sort of taken garrison on this planet. Right. So it'll be an interesting mission to really set the stage for who gets the, sort of the staging point for right. future endeavors yeah and and it's going to be cool because we don't have a massive like you know we don't have a ton of assaults tonight right it's actually mediums and lights it's going to be a pretty rapid deployment um force that that's sort of responding to your you know your infringement on on mm. sovereign commonwealth territory oh yeah um and so what happens is we divide the board into four quarters right and if you are the only player to have mechs or units in that quadrant 
you get a victory point or an objective point rather at the end of uh, the end phase. Yep. And sort of like a king of the hill, but divided into four quadrants. Yeah, yeah that's that's exactly right. Oh, but it's not numerical superiority; it's soul control. Right. So, so eventually, yeah. someone's going to have to die. Someone's going to have to die. Or force withdrawal to One get of, those points tallying. Right, and there is force withdrawal. Um, you know, there is destruction. The other cool thing about our campaign that we didn't talk about is persistent damage. Let's talk about, it. So let's talk is, about it. Let's talk <laughs> about it. Persistent damage, this is a big deal. Um, so, you know, when I deal damage to Kevin's max or vice versa... When I deal damage to your max, more appropriate. When you headshot my awesome... As, as I don't want to give any spoilers for the last campaign. What will happen is that damage is permanent now, right? I have to, in between missions, spend support points to repair that mech. Um, if it's destroyed, like, via head kill or something along those lines, you can actually salvage that chassis, oh, yeah. right, if you're the victor. So there is salvage. Um, damage is permanent, right, until it's repaired. So, you know, you can't just suicide mission your mechs. You really have to be thoughtful, not just about tonight's mission, but about, you know, the following missions. Yeah. Uh, in, in so our campaigns games. are generally going to follow a best of four structure. Right. Only ten mechs. Right. So two lances with two reserves. Right. And we're just going to see where it goes, you yeah. know. Yeah. Damage will linger, repairs will be costly, <sighs> Yeah, and uh, it should be exciting. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and yeah. uh, we're going to dig into Mission 1 shortly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So real quick before we do that, forces. So real quick, I've got a Locust 1E stock, uh, Jenner, JR7F, that's stock. Both of those guys are rookie pilots, so we're playing. I'm playing 4-5 pilots. It's like against my moral fiber to do so, but I'm doing it. Uh, and in addition to that, I've got a modified Centurion AL, uh, I call it the ALX, just move some things around, uh, drop a ton of LRM ammo, drop the small laser, um, you know, add another heat sink and things like that. And then I have a Merlin, which mm. is, which is, I believe, new on the channel here. I don't think we've seen a Merlin yet. I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever fought a Merlin yet. Yeah. So they're pretty cool. I mean, PPC, LRM5, basically what I did was I dropped the machine gun and the ammo and I added a flamer and a heat sink. Um, so some cool stuff there to be had, but excited. So I got two really fast guys, two sort of slow guys. The slow guys are better pilots. They're three fours uh, piloting and gunnery. So we'll see how it shakes out. Um, what do you got? So per usual, all of my mechs have been customized. And, Always. You know, <laughs> Kevin's custom shop of horrors. Yeah. Uh, generally taking out some ancillary weapons and adding armor, yeah. you know, yeah. beefing my boys up. Hiding your ammunition. Uh, so I got the Raven 4X. Your favorite. It's a classic, thing. right? It's, 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 it's one of my... Like and the Wolfhelm 1A. One. They're like, you know, Sonny and Bono, right, <laughs> as far as my light max. Uh, so the Wolfhelm 1A, the Raven, Raven 4X, yeah. um, they're both my, my regular pilots. Okay. skirmish force here. Yeah. And then I got the Centurion AL. I'm really excited about this one. This one's extremely beefy. We this ended up with some Centurion on this Centurion. This is how, I, how yeah. I envision a Centurion. Okay. This is a tough... Hard to hit tank. Yeah, I mean, it's almost 100% coverage. Uh, and then the Gladiator 4R, so Ooh. a sort of a relic from past times. Yeah. And hopefully this one doesn't get damaged, because it's it's a... Hard to repair. It's a treasure. It's, yeah. it's an artifact. <laughs> I want to salvage it. Uh, but this guy's pretty exciting. PPC, really fast mover, um, looks really cool. Yeah. So I'm excited for this force. Yeah. Well, they're pretty interestingly matched lances, um, and we picked them on the blind, obviously, so it'll yeah. be interesting to see how it plays out. Um, but guys, stay tuned. Battle Grid's coming up. We're going to go over the, all the forces in a new animation. We'll show you everything we brought to the table for this campaign. So as Kevin mentioned, we each have 10 mechs on the planet. It's all we have access to. The pilots fixed to those mechs. So check all that out. All of our pilots have call signs too, so you'll like that. Um, we'll show you a little bit of the campaign background as well. Um, and then we'll get this thing started. So here it comes.
on Kuzu, the frozen highlands now occupied by opposing forces. So Kevin deploying his Draconis Combine mechs on this side of the map and opposite the 7th Donegal Guards rallying to defend against the dragon. All right, Wargamers, we're back. Turn one movement. Uh, so, gripping. we have it's a, a, gripping. a gripping turn. <laughs> um, we have uh, just basically an advance here. I did get the Jenner up on the hill, uh, move the Donable Guard up, just up. Uh, so we'll see what happens. But I, there, is, there is unfortunately no shooting happening this turn. So, moving on to turn two movement. All right, guys, we're back. Turn two after movement. So, um, Donegal Guard trying to pull a little bait and switch here, uh, pulling the Merlin off to the right flank. Jenner, Locust tearing across just underneath that ridge line. Uh, Centurion moving forward here to provide some cover, maybe to uh, get up there and, and get in a spat with the, the Raven or Wolfhound, depending on who crests first. But uh, no line of sight on my side, so Kev, no no shots coming in. Well, I basically did a forward advance per the usual. Uh, Raven did the only thing exciting by jumping the river. And uh, yeah, advancing on the ridge line. We're not shooting anything, just uh, yeah, just calm marching. before the storm. All right, here it goes. And uh, so we're moving into turn three. Now scoring actually uh, does not start until turn two. So this, this round we've scored two and two. Right, right. So this is the turn where we start scoring. So this turn we each have, we've, we've secured one objective point. So you're right, two to two. All right, turn three, here we come. Turn three, Donegal Guard out maneuvering the Draconis Combine. So uh, my Locust snuck into the back right-hand quadrant uh, in Draconis Combine territory. Uh, the rest of the mechs staying out of line of sight. Merlin continuing his push to the right. The Jenner backing off a little bit. Uh, and the Centurion just kind of swapping up front. Kev, what about on your side? Nothing. Just creeping up on that ridge line, <laughs> waiting for the ambush. Oh, Lord. All right. Totally well, overlooked the uh, mission rules for a moment. Did not realize that Locust would score. So Yeah, I, so I gained two. Line. Yeah, I gained two this turn. You gain one, right? Yes. Yeah, so I am leading. It's probably going to make the difference. <laughs> could, could make the difference. We'll see what happens. So no shooting yet again, this terrain proving to be... Uh, although I think we're also terrified of taking damage for <laughs> courtesy of the new campaign <laughs> rules. Uh, but we'll see. Is there a, a, a diplomacy we can engage in? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. I think we are bitter rivals for the fluff, but we'll see. All right, so turn four coming up. Someone's got to shoot. We'll see. It's happening. All right, guys, we are back. Turn four. Action. Finally! As Kevin promised. So, the Draconis Combine cresting the hill. Kevin, you won initiative. Mm. We haven't really been talking about initiative. It's been going pretty, pretty much back and forth, but this was a pivotal turn. You won it, so I had to move first. Um, the Merlin on the far right-hand side here closing in from his position, the Locust tearing out on that flank, further securing that back right quadrant, at least as best as he can. Um, the Centurion planting, standing still, and the Jenner uh, charging up this hill. So in terms of fire, we're gonna be splitting onto two targets. The Centurion, the Jenner firing on the Raven. Uh, we've got three medium lasers coming out of this guy. Uh, we've got almost a full alpha strike, large laser, LRM 10 and two mediums coming out of that guy. From the Merlin, we have a PPC, LRM-5, and a single medium laser going in the Gladiator. Mm. Um, and the Locust taking some pot shots, Tom's favorite, uh, across at the Gladiator. Uh, I need need like a Levens or something to hit with that Locust. He is uh, pretty, pretty terrible at his job. So, that's what the Donegal Guard have going on. What about the Yakuza? All right, the Akauni. I don't know how you say it. Probably something like that. <laughs> Akai Oni. Yeah, that sounds uh, about right. Sounds good. Just go with it. Red Devils, in layman's terms. The Raven, right, came up to the hill. Yeah. He's going to try to um, turn his attention, though, to the Centurion. Okay. So, 
a uh, little tough to hit that Jenner. He's moving pretty quickly and he looks weird, so he's afraid he's, <laughs> he's not going to answer that. Centurion seems ripe for the picking, so we're going to be firing down with the uh, two medium lasers and SRM6 down at him. Uh, Centurion uh, similarly got his position. He's just holding that back quadrant. Um, going to be firing down with his LRM10 and large laser um, and medium lasers. He's doing a full alpha almost, except for one medium. He's going to hold back one medium, firing down to the Centurion as well. So we're focusing on the Centurion with these two. Uh, Wolfhound was the really only one that gunned it. Uh, he's pushing into territory. Didn't quite make it into your back quadrant, but he's, he's approaching. But these two are going to be focusing on the Merlin. Uh, Wolfhound's firing his large laser only. Gladiator's using the LRM5 PPC. Um, that's what we got. All right, sounds dangerous. Now, assuming nobody dies, looks like we're each going to score one objective point this turn. Yep. Uh, but you have been known to score headshots and critical points, so we'll see what happens. Shooting turn four, coming right up. All right, so we're starting with the Merlin, firing uphill at that Gladiator. So PPC and LRM5 are gonna need eights to hit. Medium laser is gonna need a 10. So we are, we're gonna be group firing. We're gonna hope for some big numbers here. Here we go. All right, so the Locust up now, firing across at the Gladiator. Uh, I'm going to be chain firing, so I need 11s to hit. Here we go. First medium laser. It's a miss. Second medium laser. Ah, so close, yet so far away. All right, we're going to be moving across next to the Centurion. All right, Centurion firing, twisting torso at the Raven. Uh, so, here we go. Uh, I actually had marked down that I'm firing all the medium lasers on this guy. So I'm going to need uh, six on the LRM, because I'm right at seven inches. Eight on the large laser, and I'm gonna need, uh, I'm sorry, seven on the large and eight on the mediums. All right, so I need six, seven, eight. Here we go. Oh, my lord. <sighs> Ugly. So rolling for clusters here. This is disappointing. The Donegal Guard, not a great showing here. So it's only five points of damage to the right arm. That is depressing. All right, lastly, this Jenner is going to be firing three of his four medium lasers across at that Raven. Um, needs nines to hit, so I'm going to be chain firing. Uh, I'm right here. Here we go. Miss. Miss. Ah, man, ugly. All right, my Raven firing down at that Centurion that's standing still. He needs eights to hit with his mediums and SRM six. Oof, man, piloting still doesn't cut it though. One medium. CT. All right, Centurion's up. He's got a large laser, one medium, and an LRM-10. He needs sixes and then an eight for the medium laser. Oof, everything. Well, Ouch. yes, everything. I'll do the LRM cluster. Luckily that uh, Centurion on my right. side, both of them, they got a ton of armor. So I'm not sweating this too much <laughs> until you get 16 through armor criticals. I see that. All right, so some more, CT. More CT, that's going to hurt. Right torso as well. Yeah. All right, Wolfhound trying to pop off that large laser into the Merlin. He needs a nine. You're going to need some serious wizardry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Just barely. No dice. All right, so moving on to the Gladiator next. All right, Gladiator, trying to finish the job with that Merlin. He's got a PPC LRM5. He needs eights. Whew, I was worried about that pilot die. Let's see about the LRM. All right. There are dice going everywhere. Location. Somehow Kevin hits. Where's that Merlin's ammo? Oh, floating critical with the bad one. Okay, so roll up the location. It's going to take five points to the right five, leg. Five, yep. And then right torso. Right torso takes a critical. 
Uh, you want me to confirm now? Yeah, let's might as well confirm it on camera. Let's see what happens. Oh no, that was it was looking multiple pip. Oh, oh my God. critical hit. It's gonna be another one of those campaigns, folks. Turn four damage report. Finally, some action. The Red Devils of House Karuda dominating this turn. No damage. The Donegal Guards unable to connect except one LRM salvo to the right arm of the Raven. No heat across the board. These mechs are looking good. On the Lyran Commonwealth side, the Donegal Guards in bad shape. Through armor critical to the Merlin, knocked out an LRM 5, a PPC, and a heat sink. The Centurion got blasted in the CT and the right torso, built up four points of heat. The Jenner building up one point of heat, but no damage to that mech and no damage to the Locust either. All right, guys, we are back. Turn five. Uh, it's getting dangerous. So, uh, lost initiative again. Uh, critical turns here. Very unfortunate. But here's what the Donegal Guard did. So, that Locust way out there on the right side continued over the ridge line, trying to secure that back quadrant at all costs. Um, you know, looking to potentially make a move and have full control of this back here. But I don't know, I don't know what good that's going to do me because that. Uh, that shooting round last turn really, really banged up my Merlin. Now down to PPC and an LRM. So Merlin's charging in towards the Gladiator. He's going to be firing two flamers, two medium lasers at the Gladiator. It's going to get toasty in that cockpit real soon, Kev. Uh, the Centurion backed up a little bit as that Raven came over the hill. Uh, Centurion's going to be firing all of its lasers at the Raven. And the Jenner coming across here. Uh, going to be twisting and firing at that stationary Centurion on the Draconis side. So, Kev, what do you have? <clears throat> Gladiator came walking down the hill. Going to be firing his PPC and medium into that Merlin. The Wolfhound doing a potential flank crossing the enemy territory here. Yep. And going to be firing in the left side of that Merlin with his medium array. Okay. The Centurion planted, torso twisting, gonna try to pump one into that <laughs> Jenner as he runs. He's tearing across. As he just giggles running past. <laughs> and then the Raven uh, came down the hill as well, trying to press on that Centurion uh, standard <laughs> array of SRM and two mediums. I think we're gonna hold back. Uh, we're gonna probably use the machine guns as well. Yeah, all right, cool. Well, shooting for turn five, coming up now. All right, the Jenner kicking it off for the Donegal Guard. Uh, this guy twisting, firing three medium lasers into the left side arc of that Centurion. Uh, I'm gonna need nines to hit. So we are gonna be chain firing. Here we go, number one, miss. Number two. Uh, number three. Who told me to play pilots with a four gunnery score? This is horrendous. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to move right on to that Centurion. Now, the Centurion needs a little bit better here. Um, six is across the board, so firing up into this Raven. So looking pretty good here. Here we go. That's full house. All right, so... Rolling for location. Ah, oh, man. Wanted that juicy headshot with the large laser, but not happening. Little, A uh, little bit of CT, a little bit of right torso. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, left torso and left arm. Merlin blasting two flamers, two mediums into the gladiator. Now, we do use the advanced flamer rule here. So, uh, it's two points of damage, three points of heat. I'm going to need fives on the medium lasers, sevens on the flamers. Here we go. So it looks like one laser, one flamer. So Kevin, uh, you got lucky there. Rolling for location. All right, so that's going to be double right arm. All right, the Raven's kicking it off here, going into that Centurion with everything he's got. I need eights on the SRMs and mediums and a 10 for the machine guns. These guys are really good. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Unbelievable. You disgust me. Well, you know. 
not everything. Mm. All right, so 66 percent. So that's four missiles. Let's do some spread. A laser and a machine gun. Another fluid critical. With the medium, nonetheless. Unbelievable. And then just so we'll put this aside. Of, yeah. So it looks like uh, we got some right some torso. Some right torso, some right leg. CT, it looks like. And yeah. All right, so let's roll up that fluid and critical. Let's see where that lands. No, I still am dumping. Oh, no, no. That's the Merlin. So, I right. There's actual ammo yeah. in this guy that hasn't been hit yet either. Unbelievable. Uh, right torso. Right torso. That's the one I think I want. <laughs> yeah, I think that could be the one you want. All right, let's see if let's roll some confirmation. Of course. I'm so, I'm sorry. All right, Centurion's up. LRM ten. I'm sorry. No, he's skipping the LRM ten. He's just got a large laser and two mediums. He needs sevens. Just a large. All right, left leg. Left leg. All right, Wolfhound's up, firing into the left flank of the Merlin. He needs sevens with his three mediums. Just two. It's gonna be a right torso and left. Oh, he's in the side arc, though, right? Oh, yeah, so torso. So, something, something. Torsoage. All right, Gladiator's up. PPC and a medium. He needs a six and an eight, respectively. Ooh, whoa. So, just the PPC, ironically. Processing. I thought it was in minimum range. I thought I was. I thought I had it flipped. No, I think we're we're good to go. CT. So another CT shot to that Merlin. Turn five damage report. The Red Devils continue to dominate the battlefield as the Donegal Guards really struggle to deliver. Only a little bit of damage from the Merlin to the Gladiator. Heat up to three points. Centurion Wolfhound no damage. And that Raven, despite a barrage of lasers from the Jenner and the Centurion, just barely damaged. Now on the Donegal Guard side, just horrible news. Through Armor Critical, again, this time on the Centurion, finds the LRM-10 ammo bin. That mech is destroyed. The pilot killed in action. The Merlin takes more damage. The Jenner building up a little bit of heat and slight damage to the left leg. Not looking great for the 7th Donegal. All right, guys, we are back. Turn six after movement. So um, I got to start thinking about the big picture here. Need to start pulling back my forces. I'm just going to throw the mission. I got to get these these mechs off the board. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to it's going to be a catastrophic loss. Um, Centurion obviously already dead. So jump the Merlin back. He's going to be firing two mediums and a pair of flamers at that stationary wolfhound. The Locust just turning and tearing across the field. Hopefully he can get out of, uh, of line of sight, maybe next turn using those woods and then just getting off the board. Um, and the Jenner taking a risk, um, using his jump jets, getting up and over, trying to um, just, again, get out of uh, this battle grid, but that Centurion's probably going to be pegging him right in the rear. So uh, we'll see what happens. Kev, what do you, uh, what do you have going on? Not much. A lot of guys just planted and uh, taking pot shots at the, the fleeing. They, they can sense the withdrawal, so to speak. I wonder why. The, the clouds have descended on the battlefield. Oh my god. Uh, the Raven basically just moved forward to sort of make a pursuit route uh, that Jenner was threatening. He was going to stay put, but the Jenner flipped the bird as he went by. Mm, so definitely. The Raven got a little freaked out and moved. Yeah. Uh, but other than that... Um, Raven, Centurion firing into the Jenner, uh, these two firing in the Merlin, as usual, Locust being left alone. Okay. Uh, too fast to hit, too hard to hit. 
Well, I would like to say that the Jenner has a lot of armor, and so does the Merlin, but with your through armor critical, I mean, I made the joke, I believe, in the first shooting part of this game, the first time you shot, and I wish I would have not made that joke, as the through armor criticals have been my undoing. But uh, speaking of shooting, let's move into uh, turn six shooting now. All right, the seventh Donegal losing initiative. They will be shooting first. The Jenner firing on the Locust. I need 12s to hit. Oh man, sorry. So I'm just firing a pair of medium lasers. Uh, we're gonna obviously chain fire these. Okay, it was uh, it was close. Yeah, oh, nice. all right. So moving across to the Locust on the far end of the field there, firing down at the Gladiator, also firing two medium lasers. Uh, he only needs nines to hit, so this is uh, it's, it's doable. Again, we'll be chain firing. Um, a miracle, it's, it's the turning point of the battlefield right here. Um, Locust scores a hit. I need, I need throw armor critical on the head. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, that looks like... Just the whole thing? That's a right torso. Right. It looks, looks pretty clean to me. So right torso, uh, he's in the front arc, so just five points of damage there. All right, so the Merlin is going to unload on this wolfhound. Uh, I need sixes and eights, uh, if my math serves me correctly. So uh, sixes on the medium lasers, eights on the flamers. Here we go. Whoa. All right, not bad. So some hits there, yeah. plus you know three points of, of heat. So twelve points of damage. Where is it going? Does not look great. Um, what is this? Left arm takes. Seven, and CT takes five. All right, the Raven trouncing past the smoldering remains yeah. of the Centurion. He's, he's gloating in his in his victory, pushing the enemy lines, trying to cut off that Jenner, firing back at him, though. Not a good shot. He needs an 11 for the SRMs and mediums, but when in, when in kazoo. When in kazoo. <laughs> However you say the name of this planet. No good. All right, Centurion's up, firing his full array. He needs sevens and eights to hit the rear of that um, Jenner. So, LRM 10, large laser, two mediums. That did not count. Oof. Another Devis the Centurion. Unbelievable. All right, you ready for this? No, I'm not. I'm not emotionally ready. I mean, I, I told you, do not present a rear of a Jenner to me. <laughs> God, so many dice just jingling right there. All right, so I, I see some CT. I see some CT, yeah, which would I be the rear. I see some left torso. This may I see, I'm pretty sure actually everything is a torso shot. Well done. All right, Wolfhound's <laughs> up. He is firing those three medium lasers into the Merlin. They, this depressing force is running. And we're, we're going to try to give you mercy as we can. <laughs> by, by unloading. By, <laughs> by standing still and the alpha shrinking. <laughs> We're not pursuing, but we're we're not letting up. Show the mercy by standing this deal. Uh, you you did take our planet, just saying. Uh, uh, I need sixes. So doable. Faux show. Oh my lord, you on the sixes. It is a wolfhound. Whew. Right torso. So right left torso, torso yeah. left torso, yeah. Sumo's up, the gladiator. He's firing the LRM, PPC, and medium laser. He needs sixes and seven. You can hear my size of depression. <laughs> Everything Whoa. hits again? Yeah. Correct. Oh my goodness. All right, so rolling <laughs> for location here. Oh boy. Whew. That looks like leg. I can, I can do Little CT. That. Turn six damage report. It is a good day for the dragon. 
The Red Devils looking pretty here. The entire Lance, not a single internal hit. Insight, no critical damage. Gladiator takes a few paint chips knocked off on the right arm, still holding at three points of heat. The Raven looking a little banged up, but holding firm. This is not the case, however, for the seventh Donegal guards. The Merlin getting drilled in the right torso. Uh, thankfully, no critical hits there, but it is internal. The Jenner getting savaged. Two rear hits, center torso and left torso, both penetrating, knocking out a jump jet and a valuable engine hit, which is going to cost those Donegal guards in the repair phase later in this campaign. The Locust undamaged, however, uh, running for his life, trying to get to safety. All right, here we are on the blasted battle grid of Kuzu. The Red Devils routing the seventh Donegal Guard. The Lyrans turning tail and withdrawing from the battlefield um, by the campaign withdrawal rules and some kindness on the part of the Draconis Combine. Don't worry, we won't tell the coordinator. These, uh, these Donegal Guard are being able to just retreat. However, Salvage being claimed by the Red Devils, that downed Centurion. Although, you're not going to so salvage it back, but yeah, yeah but you're still going to get some support points from it. You know, get an actuator here or a you know, large laser there, and we'll see what's left over. But at the end of the day, it's a victory for the Combine. Showing. Horrible like, way to lose to uh, in through armor criticals. Two of them, and I think back to back rounds, or maybe back one, to back rounds by maybe one round. But. I mean, I'm pretty sure like the first round of shooting through armor critical on the Merlin, you Merlin knocked out the knocked PPC and the other Yeah, I mean, just neutered them basically. Uh, and then the following round, <laughs> you got four critical hits. This reminds me of the last campaign with the Victor. I probably will cry myself to sleep. Uh, but uh, it was a good game. I mean, regardless of that debacle, I think it was very cinematic. Um, I can't argue with that. You can imagine, <laughs> you know, the Combine just coming down on this world with the fury of the dragon. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely an opening salvo, right? There's, yeah. There's some shock value there. Absolutely. Um, so it was tough for me, personally. Um, Hey, yeah, now's your opportunity to rest. Just mission one. That's mission one. It's not always lost. One mech right. down, you have two reserves. I did get three of them off the board. I was able to get that locust back. I mean, that dude's so fast, he gets up and back like it's nobody's business. So yeah. I was happy. Some that costly I was... repairs. Yeah, the PPC is not going to be cheap to fix. Um, all the internal damage on, and then when you got that rear shot on the Jenner engine hit, like, yeah. oh my lord, it's brutal. But. You get to pick the next mission as the attacker, so you have that upper hand still, but we'll see. We'll see if the Donegal can make a comeback next week. And I might be playing against Tom, so. I believe I'll be going into the pursuit track, I think. No, as the attacker, I'm going into the... No, breakthrough track. Breakthrough track. Yeah, yeah. so you're going to so have I forget what missions are there, but I'm sure it'll be one that involves that Centurion, or would have. Oh, God. <laughs> it's gonna, I'm going to miss that, Mac, for sure. I mean, it was a nice... Yeah. Like you know, the whole cam um, the the sort of the, the force for the campaign is a. Yeah, I mean, I, I, my century was all. I think we looked at it after the fact, but I think mine was almost a replica, except for I dropped a medium for a heat sink. Right. I know that's. It's I would a, hate to lose that mech. Yeah, it's, it's a, he was a tough cookie. Assuming you had to go through the armor. Right, which you don't. I found the. I, mean, I found the the exhaust port. Right, just. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even right now. Um, all right, guys. <laughs> thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, Mission 2 is coming up probably in a week. It's going to be exciting. Donegal, Guard, going to be making a comeback. Got to press our advantage. We now have a foothold on the planet. Can't let you take it back. Kazoo will be ours. Oh, God.
the damn dragon. Get it out. <laughs> Get it out. <laughs> All right, guys, stay tuned. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out all of our cool videos and, of course, our blog over at dfawargaming.com. Take care, and we'll see you soon.